In this video, I'm going to cover creating and editing rooms. We have the edit rooms option selected here. I can press tab to cycle through the different sub modes. We're on added rooms at the moment, so let's click and hold the left mouse button and we can create a room. Once the room is created, we can switch to edit rooms mode and select it. And from here, we can left click on the blue corners of the room to move them around, change the shape of it. Uh, we can also hold down the C key, left click on the wall centers to add new corners. We can hold down the X key, click on any corner to remove it until we have four corners, which is the minimum a room can have. If I turn on the grid snapping tool with G, I can change the grid size with plus and minus on the keyboard. I can then, as I move the corners around, snap them to a grid. You'll see this uh, light pink line along the bottom of a wall to so tell you when corners are aligned with other corners on the X and Z plane axes. When I'm creating a room, I can also use the grid to create it at a specific size. When in the edit room mode with the room selected, we have some properties. I can change the Y position of a room, which changes how, what wire position, how high off the ground or off the zero position the bottom of the room is. I can change the wall height, which changes how tall the walls are and how high the ceiling is. And then I have options for either having and not having a ceiling and floor, which is useful for when rooms are intersecting. I can select a wall by left clicking on one of these wall center blocks here, which gives me options over the door type. So by default, a room has just a wall if it's not connected to another room. I can change that to be open, which means the wall is essentially gone. I can also set it to single or double door, which creates a door opening where we can select different door props to place in that opening. So let's add another room over here and we'll look at connecting rooms together. So if I select this room, hold down the shift key, left click on this wall center, it allows me to move the entire wall. And if I move it over the center wall, the center point of another wall on another room, uh, you'll see it sort of snaps to it. And if I left click over the left click, it will connect the two rooms together. From here, I can select this wall connection like it was a wall of this room and I can set the door type. So I could put a solid wall here if I wanted to, which wouldn't be too useful, but it's sort of useful having walls and rooms uh, linked up for other arrangement purposes, but typically you're gonna to wanna to have the wall be open or have a doorway. So if we quickly play the level now, you'll see we're in this room with the end zone. Now we have this doorway here going to our new room. Jumping back to the editor, I can switch to paint mode, left click the room, and I can select which of these I want to paint. So I can paint the floor, paint the walls, and the ceiling. I uh, have a little toggle here for displaying the ceiling of a room or not in the editor. Uh, the ceiling from above, the roof of the room will always be displayed in the game because you can have rooms intersect. So if we Come over here and make another large room. We might make the wall height be 10 meters, and inside it we'll place a couple of smaller rooms. When I edit these rooms, I can also hold down the left mouse button while holding the uh, control key, and I can move a room when I click on and hold a corner. So we have these two rooms here, which are inside this larger room. I'm going to, in this one, open it up here, and on this one, I'm going to add a double doorway at the door. Uh, I'm going to set the ceiling to be just a different material. And I'll add in a stairway, which is covered in another video, or will be soon. So I can get up there. 
remove my starting position over here. And when we play, we'll see we're in this larger room with these rooms inside it. Here's the one where we've made the open wall. Here's the room with the doorway. And you can see you can jump up on top of it. Jump on top of this other room because they have a lower wall height. I can also connect and connect uh, rooms, inside rooms, to the walls of the rooms that are inside. In this case, I might want to add a, another room here, and I might want to turn off this wall. Now, when we go in this small room, we'll have access to this other room here. Now this is an issue we can solve in a number of ways. This is caused by the two rooms having the same ceiling height. The same thing would happen to the floor if we painted the floor of this room another color. So you can see here the brown and blue floors that are overlap are Zed fighting like this one here is. So in this case I'll probably solve this one by raising the wall height of this room which means these won't be the same height anymore. And this one I'm going to solve by selecting this room and I'm just going to turn off the floor. So now it's using the floor of the larger room that's inside. So depending on the circumstance you might want to solve any issues like that in different ways. But this is quite powerful, I can create a room out here, I could move it up, Let's just paint it different colours so we can see it better. I'll move it up here, I'm going to connect it to this room, and see here we have this room now up here, connected to this larger room, we could make multi-storied areas. Now there's some limitations and some of these are required for a variety of reasons and some are things that will change and improve over time and be removed. So one of the limitations at the moment is that we make, uh, make these two rooms, try and add another one here and connect it here, we'll see that we can't. So the center of this wall doesn't even show up and in the bottom left when we hover over it it says cannot connect a wall to a wall adjacent to a wall that has a connection. So what that means is that because this wall has a corner that's already part of a connected wall, we can't connect this room to it. So we could simply in this case add another corner, shove this one over here and then uh, we'd be free to connect this up here. So it's not a major limitation might be a minor annoyance, we have to add in an extra corner here and there, but otherwise uh, it's quite good. So that covers pretty much everything you need to know about level editing. You can see uh, I'm currently working on a recreation of the disco level from the main game. Um, and I've got all the walls essentially the same as they are in the main game. You can see here a lower section room here, stairs going up to this section. We have a boss room up here, which is above the room beneath it. Stairs going up this room. This whole room here is connected to both of these rooms, one above the other. The uh, bathroom here with various wall configurations, platforms. This bar room here, which is connected up to this larger room with an open, open wall there. So there's many things you can do, it's quite uh, powerful, there's a small learning curve, but for the most part it's uh, not too difficult. If you have any questions that aren't covered in this video, you can check the guide, check the link in the description of the video for a link to the guide, which will also have any new controls, new features, uh, a link to a new video if this video is out of date. And you can also check the Steam forum for the game, ask questions there and uh, one of the developers or another user will chime in if they can and, and answer those questions. So thanks for watching, I look forward to playing your levels.